Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks, and note that we don't charge for those picks. Give it a look. Also, look us up on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Last night I saw the fight in a public venue. I was at a sports bar in lovely Campbell, California. Right? Now I deliberately have not watched the fight a second time. What I want people to do is to question everything, including my take of the fight. Right? I thought the fight was a big time event. I think it's an opportunity for the boxing community to look itself in the mirror. Now let's talk about what I saw last night and what happened. I'm in a bar, right? As the fight unfolds, there's cheering going on in the bar. There's excitement. There's anticipation. You felt the buzz. The fight starts, right? That buzz starts to get louder and louder. People start cheering. Suddenly a chant breaks out. Chino, Chino, Chino. Right? Bunch of people off at the side are yelling for Marcus Madonna. There's an older guy. He's in his 70s. He was sitting next to me during the fight. Right? He came in. He and I were talking. I turned to him. I said, who do you think is winning this fight? He looked at me. He was excited. Now keep in mind, I'm in the Bay Area on another TV in the bar. You also had Game 7, the Golden State Warriors against the Los Angeles Clippers. That was a big event too. You had people in there cheering for Steph Curry. This guy was looking at the basketball game, but he was also looking at the boxing match, and he was excited. Right? He's a casual boxing fan, and he thought Marcus Maidana was winning the fight. So I was sitting back there. There was a guy behind me, and I turned to him. He was a younger guy than me. Right, He and I had been talking about other fights on the card. He had been pointing out some things to me. You know, my belief is that we can all learn from one another. Well, I turned to him, and... He was involved in the fight, but he saw the same fight I was seeing. And that was a surgical deconstruction of Marcus Maidana. Right now, we'll get back to that. But let me just say, they flashed the scores from Al Bernstein, Paulie Malinaji, Steve Farhood on the Showtime telecast. Right, and at that time, I believe either two of the three or all three, hey, there was some alcohol involved. I believe two of the three or all three had Marcus Maidana winning the fight. This was maybe about halfway through the fight. So then, of course, after the fight, they announced the scoring. Now, just know this. The first judge has the fight a draw. The other two judges had wide margins. 116-112 and 117-111. When Jimmy Lennon Jr. says, for the winner, I'm telling you this was high drama at Hooters in Campbell, California. People in the crowd, a huge portion of them, did not know who was going to be announced the winner. This is after knowing that the margins were, right, 117-111, understand that's nine rounds to three, right, that's a six-round margin on a 12-round fight, and 116-112, that's eight rounds to four. I'm telling you, as I make this video, that at least 30%, and I'm being conservative, at least 30% of the people who saw this fight 
at the bar in which I was, and there were dozens of people there, well north, well north of a hundred. They thought there was a chance that Marcus Maidana had beaten Floyd Mayweather by an 8-4 to 9-3 margin. When they announced the scoring, people booed. Right? I'm not talking about at the arena where I understand people boo. The reason I'm not sure is because the booing at the bar in which I was drowned out the telecast. Right? People boo. They thought Marcus Maidana had beaten Floyd Mayweather. Let me also point out too that while the fight was taking place, I had a little Kindle on me. And I said, let me go on Twitter and let me see how this fight is being scored on Twitter. And I can tell you that people were buzzing on Twitter. Right? I can tell you the people buzzing on Twitter really thought that Marcus Maidana was beating Floyd Mayweather. Right? The guys at Showtime, by the way, their final tallies... I believe Al Bernstein had Mayweather winning by one round. I believe Malinaji had Mayweather winning by one round. Steve Farhood had Mayweather winning by two rounds. Let's put this in further perspective. So I get home from the bar. I go online. Right? I see that Donald Trump... Now understand, Trump is a longtime boxing fan. Understand, Trump decades ago used to be an advisor to Mike Tyson. Look that up on Google. Donald Trump had emailed during the fight, fight is over. Mayweather lost big. But let's see what judges say. Then of course after the decision was announced, Trump wrote, no way. Judges say Mayweather won. Investigation should take place. Fix with a question mark. So I saw Trump's comments and I started laughing. I thought, okay, well, you know, we're not going to agree on this fight. Then I go to BoxingInsider.com, an excellent site. I believe the author's name is Scott Kraus. And he scored the fight a draw. He believed the fight could go either way. So then, of course, I find out that the Associated Press scored the fight for Mayweather 115-113. Fox News claimed, and this is all in the moment, the night of the fight, that this was perhaps the toughest fight in Mayweather's 16-year career. So, understand, what I'm about to say is going to be controversial. There's nothing I could say that would not be controversial here because the fight itself is controversial. Right? Here's what I want people to consider. And let me say this too. At the sixth round mark of this fight, I had the fight even three rounds to three rounds. Right? Let me add this caveat. Can we agree? that in this matchup between heavy-handed Marcus Maidana and Floyd Mayweather, that Floyd Mayweather landed the cleaner punches. Right? When Floyd's connecting, it's clean. You see it. There's no ambiguity. Right? Maidana doesn't have a hand up and isn't deflecting shots. He's getting hit flush. Can we agree that Floyd landed the cleaner punches? Can we agree that Floyd Mayweather landed the harder punches? Understand, much is being made this morning of Floyd's cut. That cut's caused by a headbutt. That's clear on Phil. In terms of the harder punches, I don't believe it's close. Can we agree that Floyd landed the harder punches? Now let's take this one step further. Can we agree that Floyd landed the cleaner and harder punches at a much higher connect rate? 
Let's put this in perspective. Copy box numbers indicate that Marcus Maidana landed 34% of his power punches. That's a good number, especially against Floyd Mayweather. 34%. That's impressive until you realize that 34 plus 31, right? We're almost doubling the 34%. 34 plus 31 gives you the 65% connect rate of Floyd Mayweather. Right? Mayweather isn't marginally connecting at a higher percentage. He's connecting at a vastly higher percentage. Let me say this too. Understand a 40% connect rate in boxing is tremendous. Right? 50, you're in rarefied air. Right? Floyd Mayweather really connected on 65% of his power punches. Think about that for a minute. When is the last time you saw a fight that went the distance where a guy landed 65% of his power punches? Right? That you thought the fight was even competitive. Right? Isn't there a gap? This isn't a situation where Floyd lands 65% and Madonna lands 60% and we're saying, oh man, well, wow, this was close. No, this is 65 versus 34. This is not close. Look at my pre-fight video where I said that I expected Floyd to land at least 45% of his punches. Did you know in total punches in this fight, Floyd landed more than 50% of his punches? 50. Now let's go one step further. Look at the tape. Which one of these guys did the better body work? I'm telling you, Floyd hit Madonna so many times in the body, so many times that I left the bar in which I watched the fight with sore ribs. I was cringing. It got painful to watch. Mayweather is landing so many body shots that it got uncomfortable. Right? And so, here's the way I saw the fight. Mayweather's a counterpuncher. Mayweather starts slow. Now let me make an admission here. And this might, you know, open some eyes. I was curious to see how Marcus Maidana went about the first round. Right? I knew Maidana was in trouble. The minute I heard that Maidana weighed in the 160s, that Maidana had gained more than 15 pounds or something like that after the weigh-in, by contrast, Floyd Mayweather weighed in at 148 in the fight. Think about it. So, Madonna is weighing in heavier than middleweight. Right? Against Mayweather. I knew Madonna was in trouble. People know I made a pre-fight video where I thought Madonna would have to fight an intelligent fight on Floyd. He would have to take his time, research the angles first hide his punches. Then at strategic moments later in the fight after he banked body shots to slow down the faster Mayweather, then I thought at that point he could start to show us his A-game. At that point he could throw the punches from the awkward angles at which he throws punches after he had slowed Floyd down a little bit. That's not what Maidana did. He comes out like John Wayne. It's a John Wayne first round. Right? He runs over practically to Floyd Mayweather. Starts a little slow, but then eventually, during the first round, hustles over to Mayweather and starts throwing a lot of punches. Starts throwing the kitchen sink at Floyd Mayweather. Now here's what I learned from that first round. Mayweather figured out the angles in about two seconds. Right? Madonna comes up. He's trying to throw his from the cloud punch. Floyd leans forward. This is a great fighter. Floyd leans forward. Madonna can get no leverage whatsoever on the punch. 
Floyd is up on the ropes by design. He's blocking most of what may of what Madonna is throwing. Now let me say this. I was so impressed by what Mayweather was doing in neutralizing Madonna that even though Madonna was throwing vastly more punches than Floyd and was doing most of the work, I thought Mayweather had the better first round. I changed my scorecard because as I looked around the sports book, I realized that they were energized. If I were by myself, I would have given even the first round of Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because Mayweather doesn't get hit with anything meaningful. Defense is part of the game. Mayweather looked to me like he was on the ropes because he wanted to be, not because he had to be. Marcus Maidana was missing a huge percentage of his shots. In other words, in terms of efficiency, Floyd Mayweather was the efficient fighter in the first round. Now I changed my scorecard to Maidana winning that first round after talking to people at the bar, hearing what they had to say, and after seeing the crowd. I thought, okay, well, boxing's an expectation game. Even though, objectively, I thought Floyd won the first round, I'll concede Marcus Maidana, in terms of expectations, was further more advanced in terms of expectations than Floyd. So understand, when I say at the end of six rounds, I had to fight three rounds to three rounds. Understand, that's shading it to Maidana. Right? That's shading it. If I were scoring the fight objectively, I would have had Mayweather up 4-2. Just food for thought. So then we get after the sixth round. And I thought Floyd starts putting on a clinic. The left hook is landing whenever Floyd wants it to land. The straight left to the body is landing whenever Floyd wants it to land. Right? I thought in the middle of the ring, it's a mismatch of the highest order. Floyd gets hit with some shots. I'm not saying Floyd makes it through the fight without getting hit. But let's just say he's not getting hit with the cleaner and harder punches. I thought the second half of the fight, Mayweather takes over. When I was listening to the scorecards, once they said that, you know, one judge had it 116-112 and another judge had it 117-111, I had no doubt Floyd Mayweather was the winner. It was a shock to me, and I'd like to hear from you on it, especially given CompuBox numbers that show not only Mayweather connecting more than 50% of his punches and 65% of his power punches, but Mayweather actually landing more punches in the fight. Think about that, right? Are we congratulating Marcus Maidana for his attitude instead of his boxing? I'll agree. Maidana comes to fight. I'll agree. Maidana brings the fight to Floyd Mayweather. But did Mayweather land this cleanly? With such hard punches. In the first Castillo fight or in the Ricky Hatton fight. Right? I thought those fights were more competitive than this fight. How does a guy get hit with 65% of his opponent's power punches in a fight in which he gets outlanded? Have this huge a percentage of the public thinking that he won the fight. Now what I want, because I know there are many of you who believe just that, what I want you to do is to lay out the case. Make the case. I don't care if it takes one message, two messages, three messages. I want you to make the case here in the comment section to this video. Right? There are a lot of people out there who haven't yet seen this fight. It was on pay-per-view. Right? I thought Mayweather runs away with it in the second half of the fight. Right? At one point, Al Bernstein had Maidana up by two rounds. I, I don't know how that was possible. 
But even he had Floyd coming back in the second half of the fight and winning the fight. Let me hear from you. What exactly is it that Marcus Maidana did that had you even thinking that this fight was close? Right? Because just the number of left hooks that Mayweather lands flush on Maidana's jaw should negate that view in my opinion. Now I'll agree. Maidana has a spectacular beard on him. I was surprised he stayed upright. Right? At my side of the bar, we thought this was going to be a stoppage. Right? I'll also concede the old guy next to me thought Maidana won the fight. I'll concede that point. I'll concede people booed the decision. I'll concede I've heard people booed the decision at the MGM. I'll say this too. Look at Mayweather's reaction. I believe Mayweather's as befuddled as I am that people thought this fight was competitive. I know the Maidana corner was surprised. I know Robert Garcia said BS when they announced the decision. Right? I don't know what to say. Lay out the case for all of us here in the comment section to this video. I had Mayweather winning this fight by about four rounds. Tell us your scorecard. Tell us why my reasons was the accuracy, the cleanness of the punches, the hardness of the punches. The fact that while Maidana threw a lot, Maidana didn't land as much. As Floyd Mayweather was landing, I thought Mayweather landed even more punches than CompuBox did, but it's okay. Right, even CompuBox had Mayweather landing more. Let me hear how you saw the fight. I thought Mayweather looked masterful. Let me point out too, if there's a rematch, understand, Mayweather's a counterpuncher. He's most vulnerable early the first time he sees you. The second time he sees you, there isn't going to be the learning curve early. Right? I also believe Mayweather could have danced and kept it in the middle of the ring and stretched the fight out a little bit more in his favor. As it was, I thought he controlled the action both in the middle of the ring and on the side of the ring. Chino can throw a lot of punches. If those punches aren't landing flush, then what exactly am I supposed to think about that? When do I start scoring for defense? Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online and understand I'm well aware that there are many people who booed this decision. Let us know the reasons why. Thanks for stopping by.